London. Redland Revs. Yes, YouTube, what's going on? This is Redland Revs. Welcome back. And today we are in the Skoda Octavia Mark II VRS. Uh, it's a 2006 car. It's a 2 litre TFSI engine. Um, and uh, it's putting out 200 brake horsepower. Uh, this is the same engine that was in the Golf GTI. The, um, the Mark 1 Octavia VRS had a 5-speed manual gearbox, whereas this uh, thankfully has a 6-speed, which is obviously a lot better uh, to have uh, for, for pretty much every situation. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a really nice car, nice and spacious in here. I'm sitting in the passenger seat. I've got tons of space in the footwell there, loads of space in the rear. Um, I think he's even got like some boxes of stuff there and uh, you know if we had passengers would all be very very comfortable um, so again you know this is based on the mark 5 golf gti um, now the cars that uh, we were used to driving are sort of the mark 4 golf generation um, so that's the skoda seats audis and um, vw's based on the mark 4 golf uh, which would have been the Mark 1 Octavia VRS. Um, this is based, this is the Mark 2 VRS that's based on the Mark 5 Golf. It's a much more modern platform than the Mark 4. Uh, you sit in one of these and the Mark 4 Gen cars really show their age. Um, now, in terms of the power delivery, this also feels very different to the first generation. The first generation was a much lighter car, putting out 180 brake horsepower. This is a bit of a heavier beast, um, and it's putting out 200 brake horsepower. Um, but the power delivery is very, very different. Um, so on the older Mark IV Gen platform, you'd have more of a sort of kick in the teeth on the turbo, like a longer lag, and then the turbo would just hit you. Whereas on these, you've basically got the turbo uh, coming in uh, much more progressively. Um, so it feels a lot more uh, it feels a lot more refined, it feels a lot more progressive, much more like a modern car. And uh, we got the windows down so you can probably hear some uh, road noise. We haven't modified this car, the only modification to it is the exhaust, uh, which we've got a video on. So we've got a uh, cheap eBay downpipe, a 3 inch downpipe for the Golf GTI Mark V. Um, and then we got a custom exhaust place to build the exhaust uh, rear section, which is 2.5 all the way to the back. Uh, so that's what we've got on the car so far. Uh, other, other than that, it's completely stock. Um, and you know, I can feel that like it's not a slow car. You know, it, it does it does build power, but it is not quick. Um, I would say, and that's partly because it's a bit of a heavier sort of body. Uh, than a Golf GTI is, um, but you've got a hell of a lot more practicality than you would with a Golf GTI. And actually, I sort of like these a bit more. Uh, the Golf is a bit more like, you know, the everyman car, and, and you see so many of them on the road, uh, whereas this is a little bit more unusual and different. So I sort of like that about Skoda and about the Octavia within the VW group. Um, Interior, you know, feels good. This has set up the test of time. It's an old car now, uh, but nothing in here is tatty or, or broken or anything like that. Um, again, loads of space. Um, so you live with the car. Anything to add? Um, yeah, let me see. Um, it's a nice drive and for, for um, you know, what, what is... Uh, I had the Mark 1 before, the Mark 2 is definitely a step above. Um, although the 1.8T that I had before was uh, sort of easier to work on. Um, yeah, it's true actually, it was easier to work on in a way. Nice. I mean, you know, you open the hood on this and uh, before you do anything, you need to take off the engine cover, which is connected to the sort of air intake system and all of that's a little bit uh, annoying. Um, well, it does feel like a leap ahead of the Mark 1 generation. Yeah. It is, um, uh, it is a lot of car, I say. It, I mean, you do get a lot of bang for your buck. So it is really great value. Say, yeah. value it's, uh, yeah. it's a great drive. I mean, it will put a smile on your face. It will, it will give you smiles every now and again. 
uh, when the turbo starts, uh, you know, uh, blaring out, then you know, you, uh, for the straight through um, decap exhaust job on it. And that sounds oh, really sick. I just heard it do a little burble right now. It sounds brilliant. Yeah, it burbles and pops a lot. I can uh, hear it coming down the road, like when you're coming. Yeah, it does, and uh, it, it does really bang on. Um, it does bang on request, um, actually. So you can make it do it on demand. Yeah, you can make it is on demand, actually. Uh, and um, it's definitely a good car to live with. Um, I mean, you can definitely put uh, plenty of space. Um, it feels like a modern car. It feels like a. Yeah, it uh, does. It's funny because um, you know it is a golf engine, but it's very much a. Uh, I would say it's very much a driver's driver saloon that you can live with. We call it call it a driver's saloon. Yeah. Uh, with sort of the comforts of of uh, that are sort of um, that come along with uh, a saloon car, I guess. So, so I hope you don't mind me saying, but you've got a major life event coming up. So there's going to be an addition to your own family. Yeah. Uh, congratulations on that. But, but I mean, you know, for me, the great thing is like watching this happen to you. One of the things you don't have to worry about is getting a bigger car. Yeah, that's because yeah, yeah, because yeah. within this, you know, you got the space for your push chairs, your yeah. car seats, yeah. your extra luggage, your passengers, everything man. Yeah, I mean, it's a daily drive for me, it's actually, I actually drive for work as well, so I'm sort of, I'm always using it. And you uh, use this car for work, so you're commuting it? I use it. the car for work. Um, it's not bad, it, uh, it's come to the point where it depends on how you drive, you can squeeze yeah. um, very econ economic, a uh, very economic full tank of it, I guess. Um, yeah. But what are we talking about? Like what, 30, 35 miles to the gallon? Do you get 35 miles to the gallon? Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's some, it's, yeah, something like that. Something like that. I mean, uh, 20 pounds uh, is like, uh, 20 pound full up is like, or uh, just shy of uh, sort of um, half a tank. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah. Yeah, that might be how it shows on the, it's probably closer to 60, 65 to fill a tank. I mean, that's what it is in, in our no, 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 I'm saying, um, yeah, no, of course, you know, fill it all the way in there. Yeah. It's just that uh, um, it's above, like, uh, it's above a quarter, uh, yeah. really, from from uh, very close to reserve, I guess. So. Uh, so, I mean, so far, all we've actually done to this, and, and maybe we've been a bit harsher it's to say the 1.8T was easier to work on, but because actually, like, looking at stuff like where the turbo was placed on this, it was quite easy to, to get your hand around to and everything from the top. Um, well, we haven't done much work on this car yet, uh, so it's been the exhaust so far, but we've got a lot planned for it. So uh, what we're planning to do, we're planning on doing the air induction kit, so deleting the uh, uh, that silly uh, um, engine cover and uh, putting a putting a uh, uh, sort of induction kit cone filter on there, um, and, and we're gonna, you know, at some point probably get it remapped as well. I imagine, is that right? Yeah, that's the that's sort of plan for it, yeah. So, yeah, uh, so... I mean, look, it's, it's, it's a daily driver project car, for, uh, a turn to f sort of family car uh, for me, eventually, I guess, we can say. Yeah. Uh, but it's definitely... Um, yeah, and that's really versatile, I mean, to have is, one car to do that right, many yeah, yeah. different things with. Yeah, I mean, look, I can't afford to have, uh, personally, I can't afford to have, like, a road car or a... Uh, Sort of and like a, a toy car, show yeah, car yeah, and, yeah. and a, a, a daily car, so uh, it is really a uh, all-round sort of package. And yeah. um, I mean, yeah, I mean, Skoda have definitely done a good job. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, check assemble and this very bad. Yeah, the roads around here are always awful. But I mean, I've driven this thing uh, quite a few times, and and you know, when you drive it, it does feel like. Like you said, a step up from from the old from the previous generation in terms of how still today, even though this is now an old example of a car, it feels like a modern car today, right now. That's right. Sitting yeah. here with uh, uh, I don't know how much mileage you've done in this. Or what's um, mileage or something? Yeah, it's, it's close to close to 100, I think, on there now. Okay. 90. That's not bad. Yeah. So uh, and it's a what 2006 car? That's right. Yeah. This is the pre facelift. Um, so it's not. Uh, it hasn't got the latest looking body kit on it, yeah. uh, which you'll probably see on the roads. 
um, but it, I mean it definitely holds up to um, I would say sort of uh, you know Audi Volkswagen CF standard uh, CF standard I think in uh, terms of the build quality yeah, inside you mean, quality, that, I mean that, that's it's what you feels expect great. out of a Volkswagen Audi group and a bit Absolutely. more I would say and a bit more for the, for in terms of value yeah I mean in you can you know the old the old sort of like jokes about Skodas you can just forget that now anyone still yeah. saying that like needs to sort of check themselves because yeah. I mean, uh, since, since, the, the really well built cars, it's a VW Group standard, yeah, exactly. like you since, said. I mean, since Skoda um, it was part of a uh, Volkswagen Audi Group, I think uh, that uh, uh, that was a thing in the past, really. You know, yeah, the, yeah, um, that, that bad uh, reputation that they the had. The badge of be, Skoda, you know, yeah. the Skoda badge and that sort of thing. It, it is sort of still true that, that, that for most people, the bag holds no prestige. But you don't buy this car for the badge, you buy this car because you're a driver who's got certain requirements you need yeah, the space yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you want something a bit different yeah. uh, you, you still want that sort of VW group Golf GTI engine um, that you that's a good platform for modifying now on these older cars which is a cheap entry point into a, you know a, a decent car that you can live with run relatively cheaply and modify and get more out of uh, so if you look at it like that like a package as you said earlier then uh, yeah the VRS is absolutely fantastic Everything in it feels good, gearbox feels good, engine feels good. And I gotta I gotta I gotta show the boot man. I gotta show the boot. Cause that boot is absolutely insane. So um, And you've got a ton of stuff in there and there's still space for a ton more. Look how much space there is in there. Like you could get Double the volume of those boxes, probably I mean, you that flat, you've already got you, in there. You flatten the, I mean, I remember uh, I was at Wix. Uh, what did I have? Um, I had a bit of laminate floor, flooring there. I had um, quite a few things actually. And that's the that's the twin tailpipe from the customized exhaust that you've got. Uh, so that's 2.5 at the back, right? With a custom rear box, free flowing box, free flowing system all the way through. I love that boot spoiler on it, on the VRS, it's a look. It, does, it could use a wash. Yeah, it could but, always um, use a wash. wash. So you're saying it could use a wash, it but... It could use a wash, but I mean, you know, um, when it is... Um, uh, nice and clean. You, you can really appreciate the galvanized body. I mean, the, um, you know the. Yeah, that's it, it another. Is, thing. It is somewhat similar of sort of you know Volkswagen Audi. Uh, sorry, uh, sort of um, you know. Yeah, well, 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 you know, you know, people say it's a poor man's A4, and, and it may right, as well yeah, be a yeah. poor man's yeah. A4. Yeah, that's right. Uh, rather than like a poor man's Golf GTI, because it, it, it's a bit different in terms of the shape of the car, and also it's that 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 makes it, it, it handles slightly different to how a Golf does as well. Um, so yeah, it's like a it, yeah, so it's, it's more like an A4 almost. Yeah, yeah I reckon. That's right. So yeah, sit calm, and, and the VRS obviously comes with the coloured brake calipers, you've got the green ones there. Um, yeah, VRS logo up at the front, right this there. Is the this is the pre facelift yeah. This looks a bit more like a spaceship, really. Yeah. Well, nice looking car. Again, it's a spoiler that does it for me at the back. That naughty yeah, looking does. little spoiler. Yeah, it's an right. Octavia VRS. There's too much traffic in this town at the moment. It's a bit of a scraper of a speed bump, isn't it? These speed bumps here are really bad. Yeah, I feel like they've raced them. These speed bumps here are really bad.
So since you did the exhaust modification, did you feel like, uh, well after you did it, did you feel any sort of difference in power? Yeah, definitely, definitely felt that uh, somehow there's more flow to the turbo. Uh, it spins quicker. At the, yeah, it spins quicker at the, you know, when you need it. Um, it's just more responsive. Um, definitely, definitely, 100%. Uh, I would say it would be like, you know, I feel like it's a couple of brake horsepower more. Maybe like uh, yeah. single digits, single digits at least, you know. And I suppose now that the car's sort of pushing exhaust gases out so freely, if we were to do the uh, air induction kit as well, um, and open up the air filter and the air intake system, then that will really get everything flowing nicely. So yeah, stay tuned because uh, we're doing that soon, coming up in this car. Uh, the open cone filter and oversized air induction kit. Also deleting that stupid engine cover. Which I'm doing this yeah, here here's good. Yeah. I'll jump out here, Motor Museum. There we are. London Motor Museum, that's how we roll. Of car alarms. Yeah, 100% it does, man. Yeah. Well, park, 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 park cars, cars he's yeah, driving past them. Yeah, 100%. Because the, uh, the pop, it's the pop, man. Man, even on the gear change, I hear that, man. It's not, it's not just a pop, it's a rumble of bass. It can be bass full, you know, it can be. It's got so much character to it, yeah. that sound. Yeah. And I think the way you get it is, and this is what you did on the Mark 1 Octavia as well, we've got a video of modifying exhaust from the 1.8T Octavia VRS, the old one. Uh, and what we did that time around, what we've done this time around, is that we've got a um, 3 inch downpipe coming off the turbo and decat, and then at some point it tapers down to a 2.5. Uh, and it remains free flowing, comes out the back, but it's not 3 all the way through. And then, if anything, that almost makes it sound better because it gives the more of a variation in its tones and its sounds and its pops. Um, and like you're saying, it's got a, a, quite a broad range of different sounds that you yeah. get out of I it. I mean, they're almost machine guns at times. Yeah, like verbals, I've heard that too. It pops, it makes one clear, um, distinct for, um, it's almost like a, um, it's almost like a gunshot. It's almost like a gun air shot. Um, That's sick, man. This is all on standard map. Clear, concise ones. So with nothing but a free flowing valve. Just, you feel just. Uh, oh, you can hear it. You almost hear it like popping off four cylinders. Pop up. It's like four pops and four pops and one. It's like a machine gun or something. But yeah, there it is again. It's a lovely, lovely car to drive, and I think, I think. It needed some kind of modification. We had it for a while before we did the exhaust, um, but I think it needed that kind of thing. And uh, and I think if you push it a little bit more, it's going to be really, really fun. Like I said, we've got a lot more planned for this car coming up on the channel. Uh, we're going to be doing modifications, we're going to be doing more clips of the exhaust sound. Uh, so make sure you stay tuned, make sure you click subscribe. If you have an Octavia VRS or you're thinking of getting one, you better subscribe to the channel because like I said, we've got a lot coming up. Uh, Redline Revs, make sure you comment, rate, subscribe.